Well, severe weather season is here, as you can tell from Mike's forecast, and we all know how frustrating and devastating storm damage can be. It's even worse when someone takes advantage of you, and that is where we start tonight's Pay It Forward. Join First Fidelity Bank and News Force Kent Ogle as we head to a dent repair shop in Norman. Paintless dent repair is tricky. You have to be certified in that line of work. It's time consuming and therefore costly. So when a shady operation closed after taking their insurance money and not doing the work, a handful of folks were in a real bind. This is how they returned Casey Brown's hail damaged car. That's when Dent Spot of Norman stepped in. And I'm stepping in with Casey, who nominated the folks at Dent Spot on an appropriately stormy day to meet with Will Gray with First Fidelity Bank. Casey, thank you for your nomination for Pay It Forward. On behalf of First Fidelity Bank, here is $400. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. As the dent work continues in the back, we surprise the manager, Melissa Elwood, who just returned to the office. How are y'all doing? Hi, Melissa. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you scared I'm, me. I'm Ken Ogle from Channel 4. Hi. We have a little program called Pay It Forward, where okay. we, we honor people who have done something special in their community. Oh, okay. Casey has nominated you. Hi, Casey. For Pay It Forward <laughs> this week, and I'm going to let her tell you why. Um, what you and Robbie did touched me so much and you guys helped me out. Not only are you good people, but you run a good business. Um, everything you did, not just for me, but for everybody involved, the victims involved. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak for everybody when I say I'm truly grateful. You know what we went through, you were there. Yes, ma'am. So, thank you. You're welcome. Thank You're you welcome so much. so very much. So, on behalf of First Fidelity Bank and News 4, Here's $400 oh. paying it for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad we could help you. Yeah. So I get really teary eyed. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's a nice thing that you guys do. Yeah. No problem. I appreciate it and I appreciate the chance, Casey, to help you out. And, uh, you know, and, and also, of course, hopefully bring more people in and uh, we can help them out in the same situation or anybody who's waiting for a car right now. I know a lot of people are waiting for hail cars to get repaired. We have openings immediately, and we're getting them done pretty fast. Don't cry no more. <laughs> you cry. You're doing great. Well, kind of what motivated you? Uh, well, you don't run a charity. You've got a business here. You've yes. got bills to pay. You've got yes. employees. Yes. Uh, and um, but you, you know, you help these folks out in the bind. What motivated you to do that? Well, I mean, I would hope anybody else would do that in the in the same situation. And um, you know, of course, we're a business. It's always about getting new customers in, but at the same time we have compassion and we felt bad for the situation that was going on. Cars were left uh, undone and and uh, people were in situations and, and of course we couldn't do everything for free unfortunately because we're still a business, but at the same time we were able to uh, either honor things that the other company was doing or um, you know try to help out as much as we can to get them back on the road. We also want to thank the owner, Robbie Robertson, for making it all possible. While one business put a dent in their faith in humanity, Dent Spot popped it right back in place by paying it forward. Ken Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. If you'd like to pay it forward, send your nomination to kfor.com slash pay it forward. And just a reminder, you can't be related to the person you're nominating.